everyone hopefully that they can make some more so today i'm going to show y'all i'm just going to tell y'all how to make this crochet bee keychain so it's super simple it won't take long at all as i said i will put it on the screen also the pattern will be in the description below so you're going to need yellow yarn white yarn black yarn some polyfill some small safety eyes and um keychain stuff if you want to make any keychain i don't know where my keychain stuff is so yeah i don't know what size these safety eyes are but i'm gonna say this size right here is pretty good um nothing super large you know and you're also going to need a yarn needle and a size h crochet hook um, if you like this hook or if you're interested in any of the other hooks I made, I'll put the link to my new shop in the description below and you can go check it out. So, we're going to start with the face of the bee. All you're going to do is you're going to make a magic circle. And you're going to single crochet five into that circle. Two, three, four, and... And then you're going to pull that circle closed. And now you are going to increase all the way around. And y'all, this is a super, super simple pattern that I came up with um, whenever I was making <laughs> bees and bee keychains, whenever it was a really big craze all over TikTok. I could not tell y'all how many of these things I made. I was making, I swear I was making them in my sleep. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to single crochet one and then increase. And you're going to do that all the way around. Single crochet one, increase, single crochet one, increase. And you're gonna do that all the way around the circle until you get back to where you started. And these little bees work up pretty fast. Um, they're good little gifts, or if you're making them for Christmas, I know it's super last minute, <laughs> but these would be good little stocking stuffers if you know somebody that likes bees, um, you know, or something like that. So now after you get that done, you're gonna have a pretty good sized circle. You're just going to single crochet around and that's going to form the front of the face. You're going to single crochet around for two rounds just so we can get that little dome shape started. And I'm going to show y'all a trick with how I do the stinger to where it won't come out. Um, it's something that I just did and it worked and I was like, well, this is amazing. So. I'm sorry I'm talking through this because I don't like sitting here in silence. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. One more round and then we're going to add the safety eyes and then we're going to switch to the black yarn. I do not have the backings for my safety eyes. They are somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where. My craft room is a little unorganized. We're keeping all of our Christmas presents in here. And, um, things are just in a mess right now, so. Okay, so you see the little dome shape we have made here. So now I'm going to show y'all where I place the safety eyes. It's pretty simple. I make sure where I start at is on the bottom because that's where I like to have it as the bottom. And usually I just put it one, two about two stitches over from the center of where I made that magic circle and this is what you have your little bee face um like I said I don't have the backings to my safety eyes so they're just gonna have to sit there like this I'm not gonna do anything with this anyway so it really doesn't matter it's just for demonstration purposes for y'all so now you're just gonna hold 
put your yarn down like this and hold it in here and we're going to switch to the black yarn and I just go into the same stitch and just loop up the black yarn and attach it and now we're going to do two rounds of black for the first stripe so super simple just single crochet around for two rounds and then we're going to switch back to the yellow. And um, my bees have two black stripes. Honestly, obviously, um, also remember, the larger the hook you use, the larger the bees going to be. So, <laughs> or the more holy the bee will be, I should say. Um, if you plan on using a larger hook, I would suggest not making one this size because it will be holy and um, the polyfill and stuff might show through it. So I would suggest you can um, just mess with the pattern your own way if you want to and to compensate for that larger size. Okay, so now what I do, since I've done the two rows of black, I have the two loops on my hook like I'm about to do a single crochet, but I'm not because I'm going to grab up this yellow yarn from the previous round. I don't cut my yarn. I continue to just pull it up as I go, and I'm going to single crochet into the same stitch and go for two rounds of yellow. Now, you will see where I change colors at more than likely on the bottom of my bead. I haven't had any complaints about that. That's just how I do it. If you know a better way to do a seamless join, go more than, you know, go ahead and do it. Um, but this is just how I do mine. So we're going to go around with yellow for two rounds. I'm here in my craft room because my son's asleep and I don't want to wake him up being super loud, which he's all the way on the other end of the house, so it will be okay. Okay, and we got right back to where we started, and that was two rounds, and now we're going to go ahead and do the black, and this will be the last um, stripe we do with the black and then I'll show y'all how to finish it off and my little secret with the black yarn for this finger it's actually a pretty good idea to do and like I said it makes sure that the stinger don't fall out and you don't have to worry about attaching it some kind of weird way Sorry, y'all. I feel like this is super awkward. Um, <laughs> y'all are like, gosh, quit talking so much. But I just don't like the silence. It kind of drives me crazy. I feel like it's a little awkward. Also, if y'all want to go watch some other stuff that I do, different videos and stuff, go check out my other YouTube channel. I will put it in the description below. It is nothing to deal with crochet or crafting. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay, so we're on our last row now. We're at yellow. What you're going to do with this black yarn is going to cut a yarn tail. A pretty long one. And just let it hang out. Okay. Now the yellow yarn tail that you had from the beginning, you can go ahead and put that in the V. But we're going to leave this black yarn tail out. Now, we're switching back to yellow, and this is the end. You're going to decrease, and you're going to single crochet one, two, three, decrease. 
single crochet one, two, three, decrease, single crochet one, two, three, and decrease. Okay, and this is gonna be a little chunky of a bee, but now we have our bee started, and we're gonna kind of just move that tail around. And now you're just gonna single crochet around for one round. I'm going to go ahead and stuff my bee with polyfill before it gets too closed. So what you're going to do is you're going to stuff the bee with polyfill, but again, keep that black yarn tail out. Don't push it down inside the bee. If you can, if you can, just work the polyfill around it because you're going to use that. And you can see the little bee is nice and round. So now we're going to continue on with closing it up. Oops. Okay, so we already did our decrease round, single crochet, now we're going to decrease again, and then single crochet, one, oops, two, decrease, single crochet, one, two, decrease, single crochet, one, two, and then end on the decrease. Okay, so this is how I do mine. Instead of continuing rolling here, I cut a yarn tail, just pull that yarn through with your yarn needle, and go ahead and thread your yellow yarn through it, just like that. Okay, and like I said, we're gonna work around that um, yarn tail. So what I do is I just weave it in and out of the stitches, go in one, come out the, the next, do that all the way around, and then when you pull it, it pulls the end closed. And this is why you want to leave that black yarn tail out because that's your stinger. We're going to cut it down to size, um, obviously, and I'll just run my yarn needle back and forth to make sure that the end is closed up nicely and I'm gonna kind of shape the bee a little bit and form it. There we go. It's a little chubby bee. Super cute. Um, this is how I make all my bees. I like them to be round and a little bit thicker. Okay, and then we're going to cut the black yarn tail a little bit shorter. And then there you go, you have a little bee stinger and a little bee. So now we're going to make it its wings. You're going to need your white yarn. Super simple. I'm going to ignore my hair. I haven't done nothing with it this morning. And it's early and I just feel like blah today. Um, magic circle, you're going to make two of these, magic circle, single crochet one, two, three, four, and five, pull the magic ring closed, and now you're just going to increase around, it is a little tricky to get in here sometimes. And that is all for the wings. It's super simple, small, little cute wings. You can place them how you'd like. I'm going to show y'all where I place mine. Okay, so real quick about the wings. Instead of connecting it um, after you single crochet or increased all the way around, right here on this very last stitch, I don't do anything. I just go ahead and um, I chain two and 
cut it off and just pull it and pull the knot down because you want the bottom of your wing flat so it's easier to attach it to the bee. And then you can just take and run that yarn through the middle. Cut this back yarn off here. Don't use Cricut scissors. Um, <laughs> cut yarn. See, it's flat on the bottom. So we're going to make one more of those. And again, super simple. Magic circle. Single crochet five into the circle. Let's see. That's one, that's two, that's three, oops, four, and five. Pull the circle closed. Go ahead and increase until you get to that last stitch. Okay, so you see it's flat on the bottom. So you go ahead and chain two and cut it off. Pull that out, pull that knot down, and then run that yarn through that last stitch right there. So I can use it to sew. Cut off the back yarn tail. And now we're going to place the wings. Now you can do your wings on the sides like this, like everybody else does. Or you can give it teddy bears like I do. Uh, and I put mine right behind this first black stripe. So it'll go right behind here. Super simple. Get your yarn needle. I've lost mine, so I'm going to use this one. I have a bunch on hand, so it's kind of not too bad to do. I'll just right there like this. And what you're going to do is... You're going to take your yarn needle and you're just going to sew the wings on there the best that you can. What I do is I just run it through the stitch and then run it through the back part right here of the V and kind of follow the, um, the line. And then whenever I'm done, I just run the yarn through the opposite side of the V. So it's just kind of in there and secure and uh, you don't have to worry about trying to hide a yarn tail so we're going to do the same thing with this other side we're going to go ahead and get it sewed on sewn on whichever you call it <laughs> and then i'll show you where to place the keychains even though i don't have mine in front of me i'll still show you where you can place it at this is super simple and I'm just going to run this yarn tail through the bee down on there. Get a little stinger straight. Like I said, I don't have safety eyes, or my safety eye backings aren't in there, so his eyes are a little wonky. And cut the yarn tails off. Get those off. And now you have a cute little round bee. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your um, jump ring right here in the middle between the wings. And then you will put your keychain um, chain with the um, ring you hook on or whatever it is on it. So just attach it right here in between the wings right here on the front. And then you'll have a cute little bee keychain. So, or you can leave it just like this and um, give it to a toddler or a baby as a toy or a friend um, as a gift or... Whatever it may be, whatever you want to do, hang it in your car, you know, whatever. So, I hope you enjoyed this pattern. Use it, please. Use it, use it, use it. Um, you don't have to tag me. It's okay. And again, if y'all are interested in any of these crochet hooks that I've made, I have a bunch. Um, <laughs> if you're interested in any of these crochet hooks I've made, go check out the link to my shop below. All of them are in there. And yeah, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, the pattern for it will be in the description below as well as throughout the video on the video, hopefully. But 
yeah, it will be definitely be in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see y'all next week.